The Devil May Cry series is known not just for its stylish combat, but also for its outrageous characters and their amazing designs. And today, we are going to go through every single one of the designs for all of the playable characters in the Devil May Cry series, and we are going to rank them on a tier list, starting with Triple S at the top, and then D at the worst. This is going to be just all of the playable characters in the Devil May Cry series. As always, these are just my own personal thoughts, my own opinions on how all of these characters look. So if you have a different opinion than I do, please let me know what they are in the comments below. And without Without further ado we are going to get started so starting off with the original devil may cry one dante outfit i can definitively say that this is my favorite outfit i actually have this outfit it's, it's in my closet right now i was thinking about wearing it but i i had it in high school and it's a little short on me and i didn't want to feel like super uncomfortable doing this but i'll put like a picture up here or something i love how iconic this character looks obviously like the white hair is what really makes him stand out but the all red is just so fucking cool i love the vest the straps on his leg which technically don't even really do anything they're just there for visual design which is just so fucking badass i like the cuffs on the coat and how his black undershirt actually goes to uh, his wrist. It's just, it's such a, such a good, good, good design. And I love it. This is Devil May Cry 1 Dante. So obviously it, it has a lot of caveats in terms of like the graphical quality, but in my opinion, this is my favorite outfit hands down. Best is questionable, but it's my favorite. So I'm going to put uh, Devil May Cry 1 Dante on a triple S tier. So up next, we have the legendary Dark Knight outfit for Devil May Cry 1 Dante. With this one specifically, I like how they actually gave him Yamato and then they just completely <laughs> redesigned Yamato in later games. But this is what Dante's father looks like. Obviously, this is just the backside of him. Like, this is what he looks like in DMC3, but they're all basically just kind of the same except in this one he has like a really really long nose for what it is i really like it i like the purple specifically because dante and virgil are red and blue and then their father is the mixture which is purple i like how he has his hair slicked back and he has the monocle he just feels like a he feels like a very like gentlemanly gentleman like this is what i would honestly expect a demon knight to kind of look like in their human form. It's not my favorite though. I rarely ever use this outfit. I'm just going to put it on like a B. Going on to DMC2. Holy shit, this outfit is fucking cool. He looks like a vampire hunter really, but like his design is actually really, when you think about it, very similar to the first game, except he has like the black straps on both legs. The belt buckle is very unique. I think you can actually get that belt buckle. Actually, it's like a rare collector's item. And the vest just looks really, really cool on the exterior. I like this look for what it is, and it's very iconic in its own unique way of <laughs> being in Devil May Cry 2. And as C-Lock said, yeah, a sick outfit for an ass game. Sure, I'm gonna put it on S tier. I wish that this outfit was used in alternates for later games, but it, it is what it is. And we have the infamous Diesel outfit for Dante. You can get this jacket. This is also a rare collector's item. I had the opportunity to get it at some point and just drop like, I think it was a couple hundred dollars, if not like a grand. I didn't take it. I really don't regret that because it would have just sat in my closet. But I feel like as a DMC collector, Collector. This is like the collector's item to have and unfortunately it's just very expensive. Honestly, other than that, this just doesn't look like Dante. It doesn't look like anything Dante would wear. It's really iconic for its collaboration with Devil May Cry, but other than that, it's just kind of a whatever fit, the Dante sell outfit. I'm gonna put it on C tier. It's not something that Dante would wear and it's really only gets one point for being an iconic meme outfit devil may cry one dante in devil may cry two still love this suit it will also go on the triple s tier because it is just the exact same suit with a little bit of a higher graphical quality but it's gonna go under devil may cry one dante because it's devil may cry two dante devil may cry two dante is worse than devil may cry one dante lucia i don't really know if i'm being honest it's kind of like a whatever fit i think what i like the most is how her red hair covers half of her face you know it i just don't really 
feel anything when I when I see this character. I will also probably put Lucia at like a C. Is this the Diesel one? I think this is the Diesel outfit. Honestly, I actually like the way that she looks here in the Diesel outfit. I think it fits her a lot more than what Dante would wear. But again, it's like a collaboration. It's just kind of like a whatever fit basically so i'm also going to put it under c tier but i'm gonna put it right above dmc2 dante i've never seen this outfit before i will be completely real this is super casual lucia like she invited dante to her house and this is what she would wear just like casually casually i just i don't know is she wearing sandals it looks like she's wearing sandals it probably goes under the same category of just meh whatever putting it under c tier again the secretary outfits i actually like this outfit it's i don't know if it's better than like her default i like the mask the mask is cool i did a video on this a while ago it's like based off of an actual bird called the secretary which is why it's called secretary and that's cool but it's just like again kind of boils down into that like c tier category i just don't really know where on the c tier i would put it is maybe like here and trish is actually a playable character in dmc2 fun fact i've never played as trish in dmc2 but i heard that her combos are exactly the same as they are in dmc1 like dmc1 dante so it's very interesting that they did that for trish but they didn't just do that for dante it's just like her dmc1 look her dmc1 look isn't really doing a whole lot for me i've always liked the uh the lightning bolt on her vest like she, she looks cool not like anything super memorable or special or anything but i i'd put it maybe on like a b tier right in front of sparta jumping to dmc3 we have dmc3 dante so here's probably a hot take that i have i like this look it's not my favorite though i, I don't really know how i feel about just him being shirtless you know this is iconic dante this is marvel 3 dante he gets used a lot in like outside media this and dmc1 dante they're the ones that get used a lot marvel 3 was my first introduction to the character so this outfit just hits that for me this coat is probably not really my favorite either i like how he actually has the um thing in the middle i, I just don't know what that's called with like the buckle one thing that i really like about this outfit though is that he actually has a harness to put his sword and his guns. I've always liked that because you can actually see it, but then that means he has to reach all the way around to, the, to his back, the back of the coat to pull out the guns. But I like the design choice. I think it looks really cool. Brown pants have like a really nice contrast to the red jacket. Like I said, not my favorite, very iconic, but I still like it. Oh, and then obviously in the middle of the game, one part of his sleeve gets cut. And I think that actually looks a lot better than just having both sleeves down. Oh, this one's gonna be hard. <laughs> I, I like it more than the DMC2 outfit. I'll put it there. I don't think it reaches double S for me, but I think it reaches S. This this outfit though <laughs> it's an icon icon he's going under double s he doesn't have a coat on and he's just shirtless but i don't fucking care <laughs> he looks so good like this this right here is my favorite thing i could look at this all day i love 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 this outfit for dante it's a combination of it being dmc3 graphics with his hair just being like down with like the small part in the middle i love it this is the outfit that i don't use the most but it's my favorite when it comes to like dante having a coat this right here is triple s but it's going to be the very top of triple s my favorite outfit until we get to this this is actually my favorite thing in the anime he looks so freaking cool whenever he has his coat off and he's just wearing this this is the outfit that i actually use the most it's honestly kind of interchangeable between whether i like him with the coat or without the coat more there's just something so fucking cool about seeing him without his dmc1 coat here i just i i, I love this outfit I, I really really do so so I'm gonna put it on triple S. This one is actually my favorite. Legendary Dark Knight Sparta outfit for DMC3. Basically the exact same thing as the first game, except slightly better graphics and then the Pinocchio nose. It's gonna go right on B tier again. DMC3 Virgil. This motherfucker is so god dang iconic. The blue contrasting Dante's red. I always liked the snake pattern that he has around here. The contrast between Dante's 
leather outfit with like the um, like the Japanese kind of style coat. I forgot if there's like an actual name for what that style is, but it's like it's like a cloth ish like texture. I love his vest. His vest is so cool. The ascot just gives him a little bit more formality. And fun fact, this is the reason why I started wearing ascots in the first place. I love ascots. I wore an ascot to my senior ball because of Virgil, basically, and I looked pretty fucking good in an ascot. Let me tell you, it was great. Yeah, this is one of my favorite designs for Virgil, if I'm being honest. Very effective in what it does. He stands out a lot when it comes to the iconic rival character look. I'm gonna put DMC3 Virgil on uh, double S. Coatless Virgil. Coatless Virgil gets a triple S. <laughs> Coatless Virgil gets a triple S. Look at those fucking arms. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Those arms. Holy shit. <laughs> he, he looks so good, Coatless. Oh, I love it. It's going under triple S. The very bottom of triple S, but you get the full look of the vest, which is really great. But I really love the fact that at first you can't tell if he's wearing like sleeves or like a long sleeve shirt or whatever, but then he just takes off the coat and he just has his fucking guns on full display <laughs> you know corrupted virgil i think it's a little different from the dark knight sparta outfit I, th I think hold on because i can't remember if it had the yeah because legendary dark knight has the red accents this one has yellow and i really like it and the corrupted virgil face is very cool too i like that the devil trigger actually goes into nilo angelo i'm gonna put corrupted virgil on a tier yeah and in marvel 3 it was dante and virgil's alternate and it's funny because in marvel 3 or sorry ultimate marvel 3 they started doing this thing where instead of using nilo angelo they used sparta and they used that for dmc4 as well and the reason why is because they didn't have enough time to actually get the nilo angelo model to work but also i think it was like the height difference too because Neil Angelo is a lot taller and then it they would have had to deal with like hit boxes and hurt boxes and stuff like that I think four was more development time but that's why they did it in uh, Ultimate Marvel 3 just in case you didn't know so I won't be ranking this one because DMC3 lady just isn't a playable character but it's just here anyway so I may as well just talk about it I like it I, I like this design a lot like the what would you call it like it's like the schoolgirl skirt like the Japan like typical Japanese like schoolgirl outfit i like that the skirt actually has the like ammo packs and stuff it just looks really really cool i would probably you know give this like probably like an a but we also have an alternate for her and i don't like it i think it looks weird ankle strap is cool for the extra gun and then she has a leg strap too for i think i think that looks like a knife the ammo belt and the ammo like shoulder thing I, i'm just not a fan of this this one's probably gonna get like a d my least favorite outfit if i'm being honest dmc4 nero we might have a hot take here actually i just i'm not really a big fan of this outfit if i'm being honest the coat is kind of like a muted purple the red vest is cool i think for the first design I think it's fine but I just like his five design more but the other thing is that I think seeing Nero in DMC4 his look had a more like rebellious sort of look when it came to imitating Dante and Virgil I just kind of whenever I see this outfit that's what I think of and I think that the hair is really the main perpetrator for that because he just looks like a pale imitation of Dante and Virgil overall his design is it's fine. I wouldn't necessarily call it as iconic as Dante in Virgil's design. I think he's just kind of in the middle. Not my favorite at all. I'm glad that they redesigned him in five. I'm probably going to put him under like B tier. However, this prototype Nero, I actually like this outfit a lot more. He has like a more detective style look which is kind of originally what he was concepted to be before he just became the character that he is the coat looks really nice the scarf is really the main thing that does it for me i think the scarf is the thing that actually stands out a lot more he has the leg straps that dante did in dmc1 but it's just on the other leg which i actually think is a kind of nice detail you know i feel like this character design gives him a more unique look rather than his og one so i'm gonna put this one at an a tier i'm gonna put it right in front of uh corrupted virgil and the blue is just a alternate color for his default obviously this is supposed to signify virgil and i don't like it 
never used it. I'm going to put it under B tier. I really don't like the way that the blue looks on this, especially because of the two different shades of blue on his jacket and then his vest. I think that if the vest was actually the color of Virgil's vest instead, I just think it would have been better, which is funny because his undershirt actually looks like it has the color of Virgil's vest, but because he had a whole other layer to it, that's why they did that. And I just, I don't like it. DMC for Dante. I've always really liked this look again, kind of not really falling into the, it's not my favorite category. I like the Italian influence as a fellow Italian myself. The, the assless chaps is probably the most iconic thing about this along with like the, uh, I've always kind of thought they were like cowboy boots, like the very bottom, like they kind of look like cowboy boots, right? But it's just a part of the chaps. I, he's very stylish. He is very stylish in this game with his look. And I like it. I like the vest being black. And then he has the sleeves again, like he did in DMC one, but it doesn't go all the way to his wrist. It just kind of starts at his elbow. I think that, um, as far as the coat goes, this is my second favorite coat. I like the first one more just for its simplicity. And I think it completes the overall look. But I think if I had to hypothetically choose like a real high quality, like leather jacket, it'd probably be this one. I'm going to put it maybe under double S I'll, you know what? I'm going to put it in front of, I'll put it in front of Virgil. This actually is Yippee Yahoo Pizza Cowboy Dante. I am once again putting Legendary Dark Knight Sparta under B tier, but it's just slightly higher quality. So it's going right in front of everything else. The face looks really weird though. It's just his regular face, but without the facial hair. That's, that's the thing that really throws me off. And then we have this. <laughs> <laughs> because of course they had to put a DMC Devil May Cry outfit here. And you know what? You know what I have to say about this? I'm sorry. <laughs> I actually really like the way that it looks here. And I think it's almost exclusively because the hair is longer. <laughs> like, I, th I think it fits this Dante. I think that this look really does fit this Dante. I really do. Yeah, I, I like the pose that he does here too, because obviously it's the DMC DMC pose, but there, there really is something about the long black hair that I think just kind of does something for me. But I also like the black coat, like the, the DMC four coat, but in black looks it looks awesome, okay? If you disagree with me, please let me know, but I personally really like it. Itsuno has taken the shit. So here's here's the fun fact, okay? If you couldn't tell, each of the Devil May Cry 4 alternate colors are just alternate colors based off of different characters that are already in the game. Nero is Virgil, Virgil is Dante, Lady is Trish, and Trish is Lady. So for Dante, they were just like, well, why don't we just put the reboot colors on there? Because Everybody liked the Devil May Cry reboot. I remember seeing it and I was like, I, uh, you know, in, in hindsight, in seeing it in a couple of the cutscenes and just playing as it, I like it. I, I really do. Doesn't replace classic look, but I like it as a alternate color. So DMC4 Virgil, I would say that it's just a higher quality DMC3 Virgil, but it's actually not. These are two different outfits. The coat is different. He has like straps on the shoulder that don't really do anything. They're just kind of there for design purposes. His vest is more detailed, but it's basically the same. His pants are more detailed, but it's basically the same. His boots are more detailed, but I think they're the same minus like the two straps, but I can't really remember. But I also think think that um the snake skin pattern on his pants don't work for me here i just don't like that color contrast with the rest of his outfits i like how his hair is slicked back except for like literally just one piece of his hair and then that's it i like it about as much as his dmc3 outfit but i feel like the dmc3 outfit has such a clean look to it and it feels like for what they were doing in dmc4 virgil was okay what can we do to make DMC3 Virgil, but just update the suit. And they just added some minor differences to make him feel and look different when I feel like they didn't really need to do that. I prefer the DMC3 suit. I'm just gonna put this one right behind it because I just like it slightly less. Once again, we have Corrupted Virgil. And once again, I am going to put him right in front of the DMC3 one because it's just the exact same one, but better. The only disadvantage though, is that he doesn't get Nilo Angelo. He just has the Sparta look for his devil trigger, which is, it is what it is, but just objectively speaking, it's the exact same suit, but it's just more updated. Fonte, if you didn't know, if you live under a rock, 
or you're just not a Devil May Cry fan, is an alternate in Devil May Cry 3 when you play as Virgil. And then when you fight Virgil as Virgil, the Virgil that you're fighting has this recolor for Dante. And that's why he's called Vante. Obviously, they were going to give this sort of recolor for Virgil. I like it in the concept of 3. But as far as how he looks here, I'm just not a big fan of it. So the reds have two different colors. I think the red vest looks cool. I like that his pants are actually black instead of that like greenish texture. I just wish that for his default outfit, it was also black and not that greenish texture. That's just my own opinion though. It's cool. I like it. It's just, again, one of those, like it's not my favorite outfits, but I'm gonna put it under S tier, like right at the very bottom. I've never really used this outfit in 4SE but I'm glad that it's here. So for Lady, I have never really been a big fan of this outfit. It's a more mature Lady. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think the other thing too, and again, this is just probably my own personal opinion talking, but I feel like she's more sexualized here, and I just, um, I'm not really a, a big fan of that, especially with like, you know, how her like jacket is just the, the way that it, I just, I'm just I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of it I'm, I'm not a big fan of that just personally speaking I like that she actually wears uh like the motorcycle glasses though I think that is cool but uh I just prefer her three design a lot more I'm probably gonna put this right at the very bottom of B three lady this is just the exact same outfit <laughs> but uh for Devil May Cry 3 but just more detail I oh my god what did I say of this outfit was I can't freaking remember but I'm, I'm gonna put it under A tier this is just the same outfit but a recolor I've used it maybe like a couple times the black vest is cool the blonde hair is not it this one is gonna go under maybe like c it's it's you know what fuck it no i'm putting under d this one is probably my least favorite outfit in the game in the series hands down and i think it really is just blonde lady i just it does not look nice at all trish this is I mean, I was gonna say it's the Devil May Cry 1 outfit, but with more detail, but it actually does look different. I like the lightning bolt zipper. She actually has more detail on the vest and then her uh, leather pants as well. I was just thinking about this. It's funny that um, she's technically never supposed to age, but I feel like they just change her face in every single game anyways. I think this is probably the best that she's looked, obviously, like with the exception of maybe five, but I prefer how she looks here in terms of like, her, maybe like the face model. I don't know. I just just feel like it looks a little more like mature ish if that makes sense like like it's kind of how he's, she's supposed to look honestly i'll probably just put this like right at the very uh, top of b tier so the gloria outfit is just her disguise from devil may cry 4 i have never used this outfit i think it's fine but it's just kind of whatever like this is like the only other outfit that she really gets and it's just you know order of the sword appealing outfit and it's just it's never really done anything for for me i'm probably gonna put at the very top of c tier yeah and she like completely changed her skin tone too which is just i mean nobody would have thought that this was trish and i also want to know how the fuck she did that does she have like a shape-shifting ability like how how would she do that i don't know so this one though best thing that i like about this outfit are the glasses the glasses, I think, complete the fit, especially with the red outline. This is obviously a recolor for Lady. I think it works really, really well here. I debatably like this one a lot more than her default. She reminds me a lot of Bayonetta, actually. And I think it's really just the glasses with the face and then like the the brown slash black hair. I really like it. I feel like I never really use it, though, just because it just feels weird to think that this is Trish, but I, I I feel like if I think of it as like a completely separate character, then I like it more. I'm gonna put it under A tier. I really like it. The slutty librarian outfit, you know what that might be? Actually the perfect way to, to describe that one. DMC Devil May Cry Dante. So here's the deal. I don't necessarily hate this look. I think for what they're going for, I actually like the outfit. The jacket is really cool. I've actually considered getting this jacket before. I think that the short hair completes the look for this version of Dante. The wife beater for like the shirt that he's wearing and then like the, the light gray jeans and the boots. Like I, I think for a rebooted version of Dante in the world and style that they're going for, I think that this does work. And like I said, I don't necessarily hate the look, but the only reason why people remember this version of Dante 
is because it is the rebooted version of Devil May Cry. And it's like a complete contrast from the original game. I think this is a lot better than what we got in that original trailer for sure. If I'm objectively comparing it to the rest of the outfits here, I'd honestly, on God, I'd probably put it like under an, like an A tier. Now the white hair does not look good at all. It actually looks bad on this version of Dante. And I think that it actually goes down on like C or D tier. It's, it's very unfortunate and it's ironic actually, because it's also like, it's the short haired Dante. And I think if it was longer and white, it'd be better. It stands out more in a bad way. Whereas like in the original Devil May Cry 1 Dante outfit, it stands out in a good way it's just all red in the original outfit with the white hair whereas this one it's mostly black with the red accents and then you have the white and that's why it it doesn't look as good i have always actually liked coatless dante in dmc dmc i think he does look really cool with just this and this is actually one of the alts that i would use for uh playstation all-stars battle royale again this these are just kind of like rough guesstimates but i'd probably put it like maybe right here ugly ebony and ivory ivory aesthetics though honestly like i don't disagree with you on that but i like how they had their own unique spin on ebony and ivory i just prefer the originals again it boils down to it's not a bad design but i just prefer the original design more and that's really fundamentally what it goes down to so this is neo dante this is a horrible representation of it i honestly just should have just downloaded dmc dmc to show you i did not know that that was gonna that was gonna happen you know i like it for what it is i never really used it though he was wearing converse so i think he has like smiley faces on the converse too which is really funny again it's short haired white dante but i think the contrast of the suit looks really good overall i like how instead of wearing a coat he actually has like a um it's not even like a skirt it's just like a bandage thing that's kind of like running down his leg it's not bad it's just kind of like whatever I, I oh he has like ninja stars on his back you know it's cool I, it's i don't know exactly where i'd put it objectively on this list probably in like the b tier somewhere maybe i'd put it like like here this is the next one right this is dark dante it is just dmc devil may cry dante but just all black and some minor differences you know where this one's going <laughs> you all want to know where this one's going i'm putting this one all the way up on a tier i fucking love it but this one works right it's all it's all black and white hair again but this one works because it's all black and then the white contrasts it much better than what they did with this one all the way down here devil may cry 3 dante in dmc dmc i mentioned this in my devil may cry ranking video i've never liked the way that this suit looked i think that the body proportions are a little bit off like i feel like he's very lengthy in the torso area and it just looks very weird but i also think that his face with the longer hair too it just it looks it looks off I would probably put this honestly once again under like C tier in the definitive edition of DMC Devil May Cry they gave us the DMC one Dante outfit I could not find like a good picture of it but this is my favorite outfit in the entire game I've already expressed my love for the Devil May Cry one outfit but I think here it looks really 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 fucking good another thing and it's not showing it here which is very depressing but the leg straps actually have a belt buckle to them them, which is really cool it looks great in here i absolutely love it i'm gonna be controversial it's gonna go up here it's gonna go in front of dmc1 and dmc2 because it's just better graphical quality but i don't think in good conscience i could put this above the dmc3 dmc1 outfits without having somebody burn my house down so technically this is not the playable virgil for virgil's downfall but it's basically the same except that his hair is down but i would just like to judge this one because my video i actually really like the way that virgil looks in this game <laughs> it is very similar to my thoughts on dmc dante it's a good design and i like it but i prefer the original more what i like about this virgil he has the qualities of being a more formal looking character with his specific outfit and like the half tail coat that he has and the blue accents that he has like on his back uh on his jacket and then even his blue pants and the weird patch that i'm not going to reference on the on the side here it gives him a really really good visual 
approach and the Yamato being black in this game instead of white is really good I like it again I know that this is like the Virgil downfall outfit where he's just more emo in shit but this is gonna go under S tier for me actually I like this more than wow honestly this will probably go here and again this isn't specifically Virgil downfall Virgil but this is Virgil's default look in DMC DMC it's honestly one of my favorite outfits and I really like it I arguably like it more than DMC 2 Dante actually you know I arguably like it more than DMC 3 hold on a minute <laughs> oh I don't know if they came out with a figure for this figure would I buy it I think I would but yeah we're not talking about the fedora we're absolutely not talking about the fedora you know what it's fucking going up <laughs> it's fucking going up there I'm sorry this looks fucking ridiculous though it's basically the exact same outfit but just the the corrupted virgil isms look very very silly and actually that will probably put it like here they were trying to do something and it didn't work for the definitive edition they actually gave him a dmc3 alt his hair being like spiked up is very weird i don't like it i do not the half coat that he has also makes it look really weird it's just kind of you know they did it because they could but i really think that they shouldn't have i will probably put this under b tier no, actually you know what no 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 no. i think i like it more than dmc3 dante in dmc dmc but again it boils down to the design just does not translate well to the reboot and finally we are at devil may cry 5. we're gonna start with nero and holy shit, this redesign is so fucking good. His coat is actually blue. He has the red interior, and I like the faded look and the tears on the red shirt with a white undershirt. It just, he looks, oh my god, he looks so good. He looks more iconic here than he does in Ford. I think this look, and especially the robot arm too, he's just, it, this really solidifies Nero as his own, and I've always liked this look because in four like i mentioned he just kind of looks like a pale imitation of dante and virgil but here he kind of shares a mixture of their color schemes his short white hair along with his unique design really give him this iconic look i actually have the jacket too honestly this is one of my favorite looks i'm gonna put it under double s i don't know where i'd rank it among everything else though and then we have his alternate color and i fucking hate it it's just all white his hair is like blonde it just looks weird i have used this one time and i never used it again and i think that he has an order of the sword patch on his side but i really don't fucking care it's going down here on c tier dmc5 dante so here's gonna be my hot take i think that this is my least favorite version of dante in terms of his appearance and i think the best way that i could describe it is it looks like he just gave up he just woke up he got out of bed, he put on the jacket, and he just went to work. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that, but I like when Dante has a little bit more presentation and suave, if that makes sense. He just looks really uncaring here, which is kind of what they're going for. The jacket looks cool, but everything else is just kind of mid. And then like, you know, imagine really like Dante takes off the coat, what does he wear a generic black shirt with like the black leather pants and then boots and then like that's kind of it the bandages around his wrists are cool i guess honestly i've never really been big on this design and i think compared to everything else it's gotta be my least favorite i'd probably put it on like on equal footing with dmc dmc dante but i'm gonna put it up here because i don't want to get mugged on the street oh boy <laughs> they fucking did it again itsudo is fucking geeking when he did this you know what i said about the dmc4 dante outfit where it actually looks like really good it's kind of almost on that same thing but also not really honestly this really reminds me a lot more of reboot dante in terms of like his presentation overall like and i think it really is just kind of like the shirt i don't hate it but again i've never really used it because it's just kind of just kind of whatever i don't know uh the black hair looks cool I actually he actually kind of looks uh oh my god i was gonna say he almost looks like keanu reeves but it's not keanu reeves it's spencer shea <laughs> that, that 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 was the meme i'm probably gonna put this like around like here it's just dmc5 dante which is already meh but i like it significantly less our third playable character v kylo ren you know for what it is 
it's oh my god he has a very iconic look to him for sure the leather jackets like the leather trench coat without the sleeves i think the tattoos obviously are the thing that really like make this design work for a lot of people and why a lot of people simp over this character the sandals are also really cool like it's yeah. wow i can't even really put it into words how much i actually do like this outfit but i really don't know would i give it an s tier I feel like I should give it an S tier. I'll give it an S tier. Why not? I expect V sandals to carry him to SSS. Yeah, no, this is just every emo kid's fever dream right here, but I'm I'm here for it. It makes him look really iconic, for sure. Didn't he steal his fits from a rando? He did. He did steal the fits from just some random dude. And then we have this, and I fucking hate it. The thing I don't like is that the color is like wrong. It's a different saturation of DMC3 Virgil's blue. I don't like it. It looks weird. I've never used it. This one's going down here. Debatably worse than Nero's all white color. Yeah, exactly. I don't get why his AX color is green. Yeah. It looks more of a green than a blue. Boy. <laughs> oh boy, this design. I love, love how they made the decision to give him an all black coat. I think he looks so fucking cool. I love the update on his vest. He no longer has an ascot, but I think it works here. The coat actually has some damage at like the very bottom of the coat tails. His boots don't look as ridiculous as they do in DMC3. I forgot to mention that. I always thought his three boots look ridiculous. This is my favorite Virgil design, hands down. I like the theming of the blue coat in DMC3, but this suit fucking rocks. It is actually top tier. This one right here is going right behind. You know what? Fundamentally, I'm going to put it like right here. It's so, 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 so fucking good. And then we have his alternate color. It's just the traditional Virgil color from DMC3. And I'll be completely honest. This one is kind of 50-50 for a lot of people, I want to say. But I don't like this color as much as the all black. I get it because it is just the original suit color but i don't know i think uh, like seeing both of them side by side with each other i like the black more i'm glad that this is here though i think that the design overall still looks really nice but i just like the all black more honestly i'm gonna put it on s tier right behind dmc dmc virgil before we go we have a couple more actually so technically this isn't a playable character but i may as well talk about the alternate co colors and costumes for nico lady and trish since they were dlc i really like the way that nico looks here she herself has a very unique look i like the tattoos it's a very small thing that has nothing to do with like her character design but i do kind of like the fact that she smokes and she's one of the only dmc characters that does smoke i think it makes it very realistic maybe especially with someone in like her profession and just kind of like her upbringing i really like it personally though i don't like the alternate color alternate color is probably like a four or a three for me i forgot to say this one is like a like an eight i guess for just design purposes ladies design here is very good and here's the thing i said in the devil may cry 4 design i didn't like how they kind of like sexualized her a little bit they fixed that here and I really appreciate that because I think she looks really good with her jacket and then the shirt on the inside. She has goggles up here still, which looks really cool. She kind of looks like she's also wearing assless chaps, I just realized. And then she has like boots that go up to her knees. I really like it. Honestly, I really wish that there was a playable lady so that way we could play as this outfit uh honestly this is probably my favorite design for lady if i'm being honest right behind the dmc3 one i'd probably rate it like it's like an eight or a nine or something the other minor nitpick that i have is that i don't know how old she's supposed to be but she looks very young like she looks like she's in her 20s and i don't know what age she's supposed to be but i think if dante is like what in his 40s in devil may cry 5 right it's like around that range I feel like she just she looks like she's in her 20s when she should be in her like late 30s uh this outfit though is her hair a different color it is a different color she's actually wearing glasses she doesn't have the goggles and then her jacket is black instead of white and I think that I just prefer this design more because the white jacket just gives it a cleaner look I don't hate it I just like the other one more Trish uh a lot of people have said that her face looks very weird compared to like how she looked in four and i kind of have to agree with that it's just you know she also looks really like skinny it's just i, I don't know it's it, it's one of those things i'm just not really kind of sure how to convey into words i don't like 
her top. Kind of like what I said about Lady from 4. They kind of did that with Trish here. I like her for design more, especially the vest. I like how like the, the corset just still has the lightning bolt thing, but I, I don't know. I just feel like she's a little too, a little too exposed here. And I just, I don't like that personally. And this is even worse. <laughs> it's not even her Gloria outfit, right? It's just, I don't know. The, it just does not look good. It, the all white and then her white hair too. It just, it looks ugly. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. And Smoke just said it. Trisha's outfit doesn't translate super well into Five's more real, realistic style. I completely agree. Yeah, Alt Trisha's cursed. Yeah, she looks terrible here. <laughs> I already doesn't like how she look here but here she looks even worse. <laughs> and that completes the tier list for all of the Devil May Cry costumes. So this is kind of like a rough picture. This doesn't necessarily translate exactly to my thoughts on the costumes in order, but for the tier specifically, and for some of the order, these are basically my thoughts here. Obviously the Devil May Cry one outfit is just my all time favorite with my all time favorite Devil May Cry alternate costume being the coatless DMC one outfit from Devil May Cry three. But honestly, a good majority of these outfits outfits are really solid with the stinkers being just alternate outfits that don't really translate very well or just alternate colors that don't really work as well anyways i'd love to hear your thoughts on all these costumes in the comments below and as always if you like what you've seen and want to see more from me don't forget to hit that like button hit the subscribe button to see more and if you want to check out another video of mine you can check out this video right here where i actually ranked all of the devil may cry games including the reboot as well as the spin-off mobile games thank you all again so much for watching i hope you all have a great rest of your evening and i will see you next time